Welcome to this episode of the Business Mirror. My name is Thomas Tresige, and as you can see today, I'm at Katende Welding Services. And uh, shortly we'll be interviewing and talking to Mr. Katende on how he started this welding service. As you can see, uh, it's pretty hands-on and uh, we'll be looking at some of his innovative products that he has created. It's exciting to just be here and see things that have been created by a young man like him. And uh, as you can see, we're going to maintain social distance. And as a result, I think it's okay for me to remove my mask. Uh, welcome again to Katende Welding Services and to DM Live TV in this episode of the Business Mirror. Mr. Katende, yes. it's good to have you. Good to have How you. are you? Good. Wonderful. Yeah. It's exciting to be here at Katende Welding Services. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so this is Mr. Katende himself, the proprietor and owner of Katende Welding Services. So maybe you can introduce yourself yes. and just tell us more a bit, uh, a bit about Katende Welding Services. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. First and foremost, uh, I would like to thank God uh, that has enabled us to gather here today at my workshop. And uh, I'm called Katende. By the names I'm Katende Abdul Karim. Uh, I'm a married man. Uh, I'm a resident of uh, Gayaza. And the workshop is in Lukuli, Machinje. So Katende Welding Services uh, came, just came, we, ju we just registered it uh, recently. It just came from a company called Modern Machines Technology. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you were the also the one who started Modern yes. Machines Technology? Yes. So what happened? How come you moved into Katende Welding Services? Uh, first and foremost, it, yeah. was, uh, it was Modern Machine Technology because uh, I was I was too much too much into machinery. Okay. So when when people started asking me of uh, di different products, yes, I I decided to change the name to Katende Welding Services. To Katende Welding Services. Yes. Okay, so that that's we can deal in all sorts all of, sorts of fabrication. Yes. So you do all metal fabrication, exactly. But you also create your own unique products, right? Exactly. So in a way, you are an, an innovator. Mm. Okay. So. Exactly. Uh, some of the innovations that you have made are uh, like uh, I see there's this machine here. Yes. What does this machine do? That's a feeding, a feed milling machine. Yes. Yes. It can be powered by electric mm -hmm. or diesel. Or diesel. Depending on where you are, because yes. some people, some people who buys these machines, they don't have power. Yes. So we usually put for them diesel engines to enable them to operate mm -hmm. those machines uh, with the absence with the of electricity. Yes. So yes. this. Uh, this feeding machine, for example, is uh, this is your innovation. This it, is your yeah, unique. Yeah, this is my innovation. Yes, but, uh, it has been made before. It's not. It's not the first of its kind. Yes. But uh, the thickness, the thickness of the ma the plate we use, is uh, is thicker than the ordinary. Than one. the ordinary one. Yes. So basically, what you did was improve the what is already existing. Mm. Uh, you used your knowledge as an engineer and welder yes. and came up with something refreshing. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, Tell us maybe how you started out how in this journey in this as an journey. entrepreneur mm. and employer mm. and innovator. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, I started this journey of welding. Uh, I got it from my father. Okay. My father, I uh, was uh, working in Katwe as a welder, but I used to go with him at the workshop. Yes. Yeah. And he used to mentor me to weld small, small stuff. Yeah, that's how I started my journey. So in actual sense, your father inspired you? Yes, to my father inspired me to start this, this one. This so one. could you say this is a generational thing? Exactly. Does pass from one generation from, from one pass to, to, from another. One generation to another? Yes, yes. Uh, that's exciting. Uh, I noticed that there are some very young men around here working mm -hmm. with you. Yes. Uh, so are you mentoring them? Are you, uh, like, how uh, how did you attract them to come and be part of the Welding Service? Since I grew up in a very poor family, I always want to, 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 to help my other brothers and, yeah, and friends to, to do this work. To do this work. Yes. Because, um, so you found it to be financially empowering? Yeah, it's financially empowering. Yes. Yeah, and it's very promising. 
That's beautiful to hear. How would you say, what has been your biggest milestone ever since you started Katende Welding Services? Yeah, ever since I started Katende Welding Services, my biggest milestone was working for Honorable Anite. Mm -hmm. I made for her a bus of machines. Yes. And they are working in Koboko. In Koboko. Yes. So, oh, so you created those ones and they are... So they are basically uh, manufacturing soap. Yeah, they are basically manufacturing soap right yes. now. Yes. Uh, what are other products that you manufacture or that you create here in your workshop? Yeah, that apart, uh, from, uh, apart from machines, yes. I fabricate machines for adhesive, uh -huh. machines for fish feeds, yes. machines for bar soap, bricks machines mm. for box pans, ordinary bricks, half yeah. bricks, uh, roof tiles. I make machines for blocks and pavers. Yo. Yes, okay. like this one. I make machines for grinding chicken feeds. Yes. I make machines for briquettes. There are so many. There are right so there. many. Yes. So yes. basically, you are a one-stop shop for any machinery. Exactly. Okay, that's very exciting. I think that uh, anyone who is out there watching and they'd like to get any machine, don't go anywhere else. Just come straight to Katende Welding Services and they will avail you with... Uh, excellent machines made in Uganda. You know, the president started out a campaign by Uganda, eh? build, Bubu, Uganda build Uganda. Build Uganda. <coughs> I believe that you're one of the people who are actually building Uganda yes. by creating what you're creating and also empowering other young people in the process. Uh, so we talked about financials uh, or other financial empowerment through this machine making. Yes. Do you also uh, like, what other things have you done to make sure that uh, the cycle does not continue? So, you know, you could get money, how do you invest it, and things of that nature. Yes. Uh, the reason I'm asking this is because there could be some young people out there who are watching, and yes. uh, just because you're also a young man, yes. they can get some inspiration. Well, uh, most of my investments, yes. I, I build up some, some rentals. Okay. They are into real estate. Yeah. I buy land, construct there small units for rentals. I also invest into my machines back. Yes. Yeah, like I have a display somewhere okay. where I have ready-made machines. Yes. Yeah, so that's how I've managed, I've to, managed to continue with this okay. work of mine. That's yeah. nice. That's exciting. That's good. Um, well, thank you once again for hosting us at the Katende Welding time. Services the and also for time. being at BM Live TV. Uh, and I believe that this partnership will go a long way. Do you have an internship program here? Like yes, I, I, I yeah. have an Can internship you program. Just tell us a bit about that internship program. Yeah, that internship program doesn't stop. Yes. Because our workshop always operates. Okay. Yes. So as you come, you register with us. Yes. Then we train you hands-on work. It's hands-on hands work. It's definitely hands-on. We don't issue certificates. Yes. Because for me, ever since I started this work of mine, no one has ever asked me about the the documents yes. showing whether I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I see they call you Engineer Katende. Did yeah. you give yourself that name or you actually went to school and I didn't there? I didn't go to school. Yes. Well, I went to school but I stopped at uh, Form 4. Yes. But uh, that title of engineer was given to me by the clients who give me this. This work. Oh, yeah, this work. Yes. Yeah, because it, it usually come out perfectly. Perfectly. Yes. So as you can see, people, you do not have to be limited by the education that you have received. As you can hear, Mr. Katende stopped in S4 and has gone on to do these ingenious things. I, I, I believe that uh, uh, you can also start out. And if you're out there, maybe you have a son or a, uh, that is interested in being hands-on, they could actually come and talk to Mr. Katende for guidance and help. So, uh, Engineer Katende, yes. if someone wants to find you and, you know, just either sign up for the internship program or buy, buy a machine from you, where do they find you? We are, we are located behind Wonder World. Okay. Yeah, Didi's World, Kansanga. Okay. Yeah, when you reach Didi's World, we are just behind it. Uh -huh. You just give us a call from there. From there. Our number is uh, 0777 yes. 386 It's also on WhatsApp. It's also on you WhatsApp. You can also find me on Facebook. I'm using Engineer Abdul Karim Katem. Yes. Engineer of ENG, Abdul Karim Katem. Katem. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this show. Uh, my name is Thomas Lesige, and as you have seen today, we had our guest, uh, Engineer Abdul Karim 
Katende. Follow us on DM Live TV. That's on YouTube and also at DM Live TV on Facebook, at DM Live TV on Twitter. We look forward to interacting with you. Stay tuned.